Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, what we'll do is we'll take a look at setting up some notifications using Telegram. So not using Hasio or the mobile app, we're going to integrate Telegram directly into Home Assistant. So that's going to use the API so we don't need to do any port forwarding to set up or receive notifications. Um, that'll connect directly to Telegram and we can, resend, uh, we can receive notifications that way. So without anything else, um, let's go in and take a look. There we go. So we're back in our Home Assistant installation. As you can see, it looks exactly the same as it did last time. I didn't change anything in here. Um, everything should be exactly the same. Now, in order for us to set up Telegram, there is a few things that we need to take a look at. You need to go in and already install the Telegram app on your phone or on your computer, create an account. It works exactly the same as WhatsApp almost, so you should be good on that. And then I'm also going to leave some links down below, which will open up these guides that we have right here. This will also explain to you exactly how to set this up. It, it can be a bit complicated at some point stages. That's why I'll just cover um, going through the process of setting everything up in here. So the first thing we're going to do is once you've created your Telegram app, I have the app open right here. Um, yours may look a bit different depending on the theme that you're using, but essentially it'll look exactly the same. So what we need to do is we need to create a Telegram bot first. So the way we'll do it is in Telegram itself, we need to look for bot father. So if we go in and type in bot father, there we go click on it right here what we'll need to do is we click on start and as you can see I already uh, chatted with this one uh, with this bot before so all we need to do is we go in and type a simple message we need to create a new bot so to do that all we do is we go in slash and right here you'll see it already gives us the option that says new bot right here so click on it it's going to send a message it's going to call us a uh, it's going to ask us what are we going to call this bot. So we need to give it a name. Now this needs to be unique. Let's hope this one is not taken. Hit send. Okay, so that one is working. Now it's also going to ask us for a username. Now the username needs to include the underscore bot at the end of it. So for an example, we can do AA test underscore bot. Hit enter and as you can see this one is already taken so I'll just go through and see if we can find one that's not taken underscore bot there we go so right here we are going to receive all the information we need so to get started with, with using the bot so as you can see there's a lot of information in here the most important part is going to be the token so we have the API for this specific bot right here so um, the first thing we need to do now is we need to go in and start the bot. So what we'll do from here is right here we need to send a message to our bot. So we need to type in the name for this bot. So if I go a a one test, and as you can see right here it shows the bot. So I'm just going to click on it and hit the start button right here, which will show us a start. So we need to send a message to the bot in order just to make sure that it is uh, working. So just type in a message and hit send. So now we have that. So the next thing we need to do is we need to check the um, uh, extract the chat ID. Remember, this is the bot that will communicate to you and send you the notifications. So um, my bot name is AHS. So a test is going to send me messages that's fine um, so in the link that I'll, that I'll have down below you'll see we have a few options right here in order to retrieve the API token so what we'll do is we'll copy this code right it's this link right here so I'm going to copy this open a new tab paste it in here I didn't want to go but okay so then once we have that, we go back to our bot and copy the API token. So the access token right here. Right click, copy selected. And then in our bot API token, uh, just right next to bot, we leave bot in there and hit paste. 
and then we hit enter and just wait for that and you'll see it says okay true that means that the bot is active and it is everything is working on there so there we go so now we know that the bot is working but we need to refresh that page one more time but in order to have it show our chat IDs, we may need to send a, another message. So usually what I do is if I do get OK true, um, you go in and just send a, another message to the bot just to make sure that it is getting some activity. So it'll show all the activity in the log when we pull the API request from that link. So now if we go open up that link, you can see right here it shows us all the messages that we have sent. But the one that we're looking for is the chat. And then it shows us ID and this is the chat ID that we need. Now this is what we'll use in Home Assistant with the API in order to send us messages. Um, we just set this up once. Once you have this set up and configured within Home Assistant, you'll be able to um, set up notifications a lot easier than um, just installing the bot. So this is just to set it up. So what we'll do now is we'll just copy this and keep this somewhere that we can go in and add it to our home assistant. What I'll do is I'll just send it uh, to the bot itself so I know what my chat ID is, just a temporary place to save it. So in order to add it to our home assistant, we have the um, API key, uh, the API key, and the uh, chat ID. So it's fairly simple. So what we need to do is we need to open up our configuration.yaml. So just go to hasio.local open up the config, I already have it open right here. There we go. So once we are in the config folder, we open up our configuration.yaml file, and then I can go in and just add that code right here. So the code will be listed right here on the Home Assistant page. So you can copy this exactly as it is right here. It's fairly simple. So just right click copy in Home Assistant, uh, in the configuration.yaml file, we just paste that right here. And right here, so we have the API key and then the chat IDs. Now, this should be fairly easy. So all we do is we copy the chat ID for our user, copy selected text, and add in the chat ID. We can delete the rest in here because we're not going to use it. You can add additional ones if you need to and then the same with the notify as well so remember you need to have the notify in here as well so we just paste that uh, chat id right here and then you can also give it a name and then we need to add in the api key right here and that we can get from the bot so we can just copy it so copy selected text go back and just replace the api key right here with the API key that you have. And that should be it. So now remember, when we make changes to our configuration.yaml file, we need to go in and save that, and then also restart our Home Assistant. So let's quickly go in and restart Home Assistant, and then I'll get back to you. There we go. So Home Assistant went ahead and restarted. So the next thing we need to do is we can take a look at sending a test message just to see how it, if it works and everything is set up correctly. So all we do is we click on the developer tools right here, click on services, Mine is already open, so all we do is we click right here and type in Telegram. And then we can say Telegram bot send message. There we go. So we want to send a message to us. And then right here, we need to add in the service data. A quick and easy way just to test it out is we just fill in example data. We can delete everything right here because all we really need to have in here is the message and the title, which means um, the title uh, or the subject in specific cases um, and the actual message that you want to send. And then all you do is you click on call service right here. And there we go. So as you can see, it did make that sound and it did send the message right here. So. There we go, the title of the message and then the actual message. So it's fairly simple setting it up. Um, once we have this set up, it's fairly easy to set up an automation. So we can quickly take a look at setting that up as well. So to set up a automation for um, sending you notifications, it's fairly simple. All we do is we go to our configuration, go down, click on automations right here. And then right behind my camera is going to be that orange plus plus sign. So just click on there. I'm going to skip this new automation. 
There we go. So to add a notif uh, there we go. So to add a automation for sending us notifications to our phone or to our Telegram, all we do is we can set up a simple automation. This is just going to be a test. So what we'll do is we'll go to configuration, automations, add a new one right behind my camera is that uh, plus sign you can click on. I'm going to skip that. New automation. I'll just leave it as new automation. Then in the device. So I want to send a notification just as, as an example send a notification if the window has been opened so click on state select the entity so bedroom and the one i have list right here is the bedroom two and if it goes from off which means closed to on we need to leave everything as is in the actions what we want it to do is call a service right here and then the service is going to call is telegram send a message so let's select this one right here send a message and then exact same as we did with the previous one so we just put to add in a message colon the message that you want to send and then the title of the message itself that's it so once we have it in here all we do is we hit the save button right here and then we can go in and trigger it so let's go in and then we can trigger it so all we do is we hit the execute and there we go as you can see it did send that message so the next thing we do is we can also test it on to opening the window itself this is just to show that it is working when i open up the window it is sending that message that the window has been opened so that's working and it's fairly quick because remember that's uh, connecting directly to the API and then sending a message over. So if we click on here, you'll see it did send me those messages. So that's it for setting it up quickly and just having it listed in there. Um, you can send some images in here as well. So if you want to include an image to a URL, you can add that in there. I don't have a cameras or any cameras connected to my installation yet. So in the future, I'll be taking a look at sending a future and call to action buttons as well. But this is just a basic setup of how to add it in. Um, we can, what we could do is in our automations that we already have. So remember last time we uh, did set up, plays a siren over our speakers. Now we could edit this one right here. So this is the alarm trigger one that we set up last time. So all we can do in here is we add a additional action. So we have all these right here. We can add a additional action to the previous alarm one and then use the exact same setup. So what we'll do is we'll call a service then in the service is telegram send message let's use it there we go and then in the service data we can just paste the message and then say alarm triggered and then you can give it so let's do that hit save and there we go so now you have that automation so now what will happen is if your alarm tr triggers and you're not at home you'll also receive a actual message telling you that listen the alarm has triggered and you can take a look now if you had camera sets up um i will cover this in the future but as i've said i don't have anything else uh, or any additional items that i can add to my home assistant until this whole lockdown thing has ended and that's it so fairly easy setting that up um, if you guys do get stuck i'll leave a couple of links down in the description below i'll also leave code on how to include an image in your uh, message that you send um fairly simple so in the future we'll take a look at setting up some additional notifications with our automations that we'll set up so this is all just building up guys um as i know there's a lot of stuff that we can cover so i'm just building up and improving uh, my home assistant as we move along so I hope you guys are safe at home and enjoying this lockdown and spending some time with your family. And I'll see you guys again in the next one. Cheers.